Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Your Next Move. First off, before I forget, Happy New Year. This is a new year. And today's special guest is Tia Williams. Tia, yes. where are you from? I am from Richmond, Virginia. Um, more specifically, I live in Chesterfield County. All right, awesome. And are you a single agent or a team? Tell us a little I am about. a solo agent. Okay. And uh, how long have you been in the business? So I've been an agent for almost two years now, um, but I started off more on the investor side. Um, that's kind of how I got into loving real estate, purchasing my first property and then renting that out. Decided to get licensed. All right, awesome. And so you also have family ties here in New York as well, right? I do. I actually lived in New York uh, before moving to Virginia. Um, I lived in Queens. And so I still have family like in every borough with the exception of well, we don't have Staten Island anymore, um, but pretty much every borough, we okay. have somebody out there. No. All right. Awesome. So when you moved to, well, since you were from Queens, you moved to Virginia. Uh, what can you tell people about anybody who's moving from this area, going to that area? What can you tell them that they should be you know, mindful of? Yeah, I think it's very interesting. I mean, when I moved here many years ago, um, there wasn't much much diversity, but over time, we really have increased with that, our diversity. I think it has a lot to do with the universities that we have in the area, as well as the different businesses we have in the area. Um, so it's just a plethora of individuals, different ethnicities, cultures, diversity of thought, diversity of education, experiences. Um, and I don't think people think about that when they think of the South and especially Virginia. Uh, but Richmond is really somewhat of a melting pot in its own sense. All right. Well, that's one of the reasons why we put the series together, just to give people an idea when they are planning to move and they don't have an idea where to go to. This is called your next move. So this right. is an idea if, in case you weren't thinking about it. Hey, you know what? This place basically has everything I'm looking for. Maybe this is a place I should be considering. Now, you mentioned universities. What kind of universities do we have out there? Um, so we have uh, some private universities. We have HBCU. So we have Virginia Union University and for Virginia. The, for, for the viewers who don't know what HBCU is. Right. Historically Black College and Universities. So we do have two. We have Virginia Union University. And we also have Virginia State University, which is in Petersburg, which is about 30 minutes outside of the city. We also have Virginia Commonwealth University. A few years ago, you may have heard them. They went to the Sweet 16 in NCAA basketball. Uh, we also have the University of Richmond here. Um, and then we, <clears throat> excuse me, also have the Medical College, excuse me, of Virginia, which is a top rated um, medical college uh, that is here as well. And we're about an hour from my alma mater, the University of Virginia, who two years straight, we were national champions in NCAA basketball. Just needed to nice. put that out there. What kind of uh, specialties are you seeing from these schools? What are people majoring in? Yeah, so Virginia Commonwealth University is probably well known for its medical school that it has, health school for nurses and uh, individuals going into the health care field. Um, University of Richmond is probably well known for its law school program that it has. And then the other schools um, have quite a bit of liberal arts programs that are out there. Um, VCU also has a, a very well known, I guess, I would say a recognized arts program as well. So um, there's a lot that they do in the city and a lot of opportunities for individuals who are moving to Virginia to go to college or those that are in state wanting to go there. All right. Well, I know that uh, Virginia in the 90s, late 90s, early 2000s, they were well known for the music scene. Is that still the case? It still is. You know, the pandemic has changed a little bit of things for everyone, but um, absolutely for our music, um, for our arts, uh, we, we have quite a few uh, museums as well. Uh, so your fine arts, your museum type things, it's pretty an eclectic type city. There's a little bit of everything to do here. Um, we even have Broadway plays off Broadway, of course, really? that uh, come here. So I was able to go see The Lion King a few years ago. I definitely want to see it again and Wicked. Um, so, you know, there's just a lot that comes here and a lot of entertainment options that are available. All right. So for the people who are, let's say they're moving out, different age groups, I'm going to say the seniors who are leaving here and are looking to go to someplace that's much warmer, which in your area is going to be much warmer. Um, and they're also looking for that single level property. They don't want to deal with the snow and they don't want to go up and down the stairs, uh, steps and stuff like that. So what, what can they get for if they sell here and move over there? 
Yeah, so um, we definitely have that. When you talk about your seniors, um, we have quite a few thriving 55 plus communities and we're seeing a lot more popping up in the new construction world of 55 plus communities. Um, we have a few uh, golf courses and golf communities. Um, the weather is definitely intriguing for people. We don't get too cold of winters, even though we had the whole issue recently, but in Richmond, yeah. um, we don't get too cold of winters as you would see up north. Um, and then we don't get as hot as it can be further south. So it's a good sense of weather um, here. Um, for other ages, uh, we are right, we have the James River running through us. So there's a lot of white water rafting, just going down and hiking, hiking on the rocks down at the James River, um, a lot of things for families to do. Different age groups really can find a lot to do in Richmond. Like we were talking about before, the entertainment and arts scene is um, pretty popular here. Quite a few brewery, brewery, breweries, mm -hmm. <laughs> sorry, that um, I popped up. And um, we're definitely a foodie city. We were named by National Geographic as one of the top 10 food destinations in the world. Let me say that again, in the world. Really? Um, so there, yeah, there's a you little bit of everything. Yeah, yeah, there, there's so a little bit of everything here. What makes you one of the top 10 destinations? What's what's your go-to foods over there? You know, for a while, um, we had quite a few um, new restaurants popping up, some top named uh, restaurants here, such as Peter Chang. Um, we had the um, Bagaglio brothers, I'm, I'm hoping I'm saying their name correctly. They opened up a restaurant. They're from Top Chef. We're known from Top Chef, open a restaurant. Um, so we have a lot of unique restaurants that are here, not necessarily chain restaurants. We have those, but we have some very unique restaurants. As far as food types that are in Richmond, of course, you're going to find your regular American food. We are the South, so you're going to find um, your barbecue. We are close to the water, so you're going to find seafood. Um, but we also have African cuisine. We have Jamaican cuisine. We have um, Japanese, Thai, Chinese, Mexican. Um, we have just, uh, again, a plethora of different food choices to choose from, um, you know, whatever really your heart's desire, you can pretty much find it somewhere in Richmond. All right, I'm going to put you on the spot. Uh-oh. You have to choose one to be your all-time favorite for the rest of your life. That's the only thing you're going to eat. Which one? <sighs> I hate to say it because um, I need to stop, but I love Mexican food. <laughs> there are a lot of Mexican restaurants and they're authentic Me Mexican um, restaurants that are here. So, I mean, that's probably my go-to way too much. Um, but yeah, we, we, you have your pick of restaurants here. If, if you were to say basically one staple for Virginia that pretty much screams out Virginia, what, what would that food be basically in Virginia? Well, I think what we're most well known for are our hams, Smithfield, not Smithfield hams, but hams and peanuts is something that people know of Virginia, um, for that's, widely recognized. And we're, there was a time where tobacco was there too. But those two foods, uh, I think tomatoes are probably another thing that um, we're very popular for. All right, awesome. Now, what's uh, something that people don't know about Virginia that they should know if they're considering moving anywhere, basically? What would make Virginia their home? You know, I think the diversity that I was talking about before for is something, again, a lot of people don't know about in Virginia, especially in Richmond. Um, we are about two hours outside of Washington, D.C., and about less than two hours away from Virginia Beach, less than two hours away from North Carolina. So we typically get a lot of transplants here, people that are coming from up, up north and moving closer to the area. Um, they're not that far away from those different destinations. Uh, we also have a military base, the St. Petersburg Fort Lee military base is about 30 minutes away. We have Amazon here. We have big banks here. Um, so there are a lot of organizations, pharmaceutical, large pharmaceutical companies that are here. So I don't think people know that there is a lot available as far as the employment factor um, and then being able to find affordable housing in this area that you may not necessarily be able to get up north, but still be in a place that you're not too far away from pretty much everything you need access to. All right, so I primarily work in Queens. So on average, some of the areas that I work in Queens, uh, I'm gonna say like the house is about like 650, they sell it, uh, they get a full price or above asking at this point. And they, they might have some pocket money. Uh, what can they get basically if they move to Virginia? 
Yeah, out here, 650 gets you a lot. Um, when we talk about single family properties, 650 can probably get you something over 3,000 square feet. You're looking at about five to six bedrooms, three and a half plus bathrooms, um, and then maybe some acreage of land. So 650 definitely goes a long way here. Mm -hmm. uh, which is another reason why we definitely saw, especially during, during the pandemic, a lot of individuals from what we call the DMV area, DC, Maryland, and Virginia mm -hmm. moving here, they were able to work remotely. Um, and so they were trying to find more affordable housing, get more bang for their buck. And 600,000, again, gets you a long way in Richmond versus if you were in those parts of the country or in New York, for example, um, and still a short commute should they need it to drive to DC or Maryland. Um, so yeah, it definitely goes a long way here. You mentioned schools, you mentioned food, my favorite subject. Um, <laughs> you mentioned activities, outside activities. Um, we mentioned, we kind of touched on sports. Uh, for the sports people that are watching this, if they're considering moving, if they want to, they're diehard sports fans, what sports can they uh, watch? So we, we have a local baseball team that's here. Um, and then again, we're not that far from DC. So when you're talking about your major teams, NFL or NBA, people are definitely for Washington football and um, the Washington Wizards. Um, so we're not far from that. So we kind of take that on for us. And then also our universities, uh, like I said, you know, UVA, VCU, you're going to have people all over Richmond that are split for the universities that they support for their sports because we do have ACC teams that are here, Division I college teams. And even our high school sports are very popular, as probably you'll see that in most southern states. Um, so when it comes to football season in high schools, uh, you'll get 40 plus people, ages 40 plus that are going to be out there rooting on their teams. Um, so we have some national uh, standing high school football teams as well in the areas. And uh, Richmond has produced quite a few athletes. We are known for Arthur Ashe, who was born here. Um, Russell Wilson went to, went to school here. Russell went to, Wilson went to, went to high school here, excuse me. And we've had some NBA players, some NFL players that have all come out of the city of Richmond. It's good to know. Yeah. Um, What's something that we didn't cover that you probably you want to talk about basically that people should know about Virginia? You know, I think the uh, other than the price point and being able to get so much for the money factor that are here, I think one of the things that I like, um, you know, when I go to visit family in New York, I feel great up there, but after a few days, I'm ready to come home. And I think it's just because um, what I like about Richmond is that it's some country living mixed with city living. So you can, like I'm out here in Chesterfield and around the corner, there's a neighbor that has two horses in their front yard, but we're right off I-95. Um, we're about 10 minutes from everything we need to get to, shopping, groceries, things of that nature. So that's one of the things that I really like about it, that you can feel like you have a slower pace, but if you want to have that city feel, you're still there as well. And then the, again, that there's so much to do for every age group from your museums, your parks, um, attractions. We have a lot of events and festivals here, 10K races. There's a lot to do outside. There's a lot to do indoors. Um, it's just, again, just so much that's available for just about anyone, any age group, any ethnicity, any um, you know, gender, there's a lot that's available here. If people are interested in talking to you, possibly during the weekend, they want to meet up with you and you show them around and see different areas that they could look at as a potential forever home, how can they reach you? Yeah, absolutely. So they can reach me by phone or text at 804-508-0795 or by email at TWVA Real Estate, all one word, stands for Tia Williams, Virginia Real Estate at gmail.com. I'd be happy to show you around. I support all of Richmond and all the surrounding counties. Um, that does include Henrico, Chesterfield, Petersburg, Prince George, Short Pop, Midlothian, all of that. Um, and then one other important thing, everything is within 30 minutes from each other. So even in the different counties, you can get to everything within 30 minutes if you're traveling. Well, that's good to know. Well, one other thing I wanted to add, the reason why we, we met and we started talking is I referred you a client, you're working with them right now. Um, she's specifically looking for investment home. Well, not investment home. She's looking for like something from uh, the investors that are putting something together, a speculator or a builder is putting mm -hmm. together. And you had mentioned something that you have 
unique compared to some other agents? You want to share that with the audience? Um, I'm trying to think what that is. You, you mentioned Lacey with the client, um, the builders that you have access to pretty much, they can customize. The, the so product. yeah, that is a good point. So we, we have quite a few builders here. Now there are some builders that have your prefab homes, basically pre-production home is what they call it. So the home can be built quickly, but there's little that you can do as far as um, choosing your own options. But most of our builders that are in the area will allow you to do some customization, such as choosing the flooring, the finishes in your kitchen, adding, you know, decks, things of that nature. Um, so we have a lot of those. And then we also have builders that will take your design and build for you. You find the land or they may find the land for you and they can build a completely custom home. Um, so we have a wide variety of builders that are out here. So whether you're looking for new construction or resale property, there's definitely options that are out here. I think the key thing that I want the viewers to remember is basically they have to talk to the right agent, which is you. Thank and you. <laughs> you point them in the right direction and get them exactly what they're looking for. If they don't see it, it can be built because you have that. What was the one thing that you wanted to add again? So we are an investment friendly city. So there are a lot of investors that we have in the area. Um, a lot of parts of Richmond are um, a great areas if you're looking for investment properties and or Petersburg and the Hopewell area, Prince George area. Um, and that's whether you're looking for uh, properties to flip or properties to buy and hold. We also have people starting the Airbnbs because again, just our location and proximity to DC, Northern Virginia, and then also to the beach. Um, and then all of the different businesses that we have in the area, uh, Airbnbs are becoming quite popular here as well. So if you're looking for investment properties, this is a great place to find something at a great uh, value as well. Other than that, I have nothing else to ask. Um, thank you so much for being on the show. Um, if you guys have any questions, we, we're always here. We're here to help. And just feel free to reach out to us. Share this video with your friends and family. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate. We're here to help. So call us, text us, send small signals. Anyway, <laughs> have a good one. Happy New Year. Talk to you soon.